What's up, all you gamers out there? Welcome back to Mythic Heroes. I'm Galaxis. Thanks for tuning in, guys. What we're going to do today is take a look at this new hero, Cassandra. We're going to do a review for her. We're going to talk about the good equipment that you can use on her. And uh, then we're going to go out and take her into the arena and see how she does with the team. We'll go ahead and get right on into it. Now, Cassandra, new hero in the game, is actually a healer, guys. Let's take a look real quick. She is a support hero. You can see there she is a support hero dealing magical damage. Now let's take a look here at her ultimate. At level 3, I have it there at level 3 because she is level 180. So um, it is at level 3. Cassandra prays to recover all allies to their max health. You hear that? All allies. So this is a global heal. In the 5 seconds after this health is gained, 70% of the amount of recovered will slowly drain away. Kind of weird, right? Total amount of health gain cannot exceed 400% of Cassandra's attack. All right? So there's a little bit of a cap on the healing that she can do. At level 2, 60% of the amount recovered will drain away. And at level 3, 50% of the amount recovered will drain away. And so we've gotten to level 3 now. And that means that half of the healing that we give with Cassandra that all of the other heroes receive will drain away over five seconds. Now, when you get to level four, the drain time increases to eight seconds. All right, so that is pretty awesome. Whenever she ults, she's going to give all of this healing to people, and it does slowly drain off. But, you know, you got to just imagine that she's going to be keeping everybody alive. That's going to be giving everybody a boost of health. Okay, so let's go on and move along and uh, take a look at her active. Holy Illumination. And we have it at a level 3. At level 3, recovers 10% of max health to allies. We'll go ahead and go right on down and take a look at this. Cassandra releases Holy Energy at the target nearest to her. Now, this is interesting because it has two different things that it can do. It can affect the allies different than it does the enemies. This energy then bounces to three other heroes nearby, recovering 8% of max health if it's an ally, or dealing 100% damage if it's an enemy. Interesting, right? So this has two different effects, two different things that can, it can do based off of whether it's a hero or an uh, ally hero or an enemy. So that's pretty awesome. And level two, the energy is conducted up to four times. So it'll be hitting four different people, four different uh, heroes. Recovers 10% of max health. To allies, so that's where we are now. Instead of 8%, it's going to give them 10%, a little bit extra boost. And then at level 4, you got to unlock that at 241, deals 110% damage to enemies. So it's going to be a little bit of a boost in attack and just be able to do more damage to the enemies. That's pretty awesome. And that's her active skill. Okay, now she has another active skill, Breathless Prayer. Level 2 is what we have it at now. Cassandra prays for the ally with the lowest health. For the next three attacks, this hero recovers 5% of their max health each time they are hit. Okay, so that's going to allow them to heal. For the next three attacks, hero recovers 5%. So you're talking about 15% over three attacks of their max health being recovered. When you get to level 2, it's recovering 7.5% of max health per hit okay and level three the skill is effective for the next four attacks instead of three attacks which is going to give you more max health overall and at level four recovers 10 percent of max health per hit each time that they're hit so you're talking about 40 percent of their health each time that uh you know she's doing this skill and the targeted uh, hero is going to be affected like that. So her healing is pretty nice. All right, let's go on and move to the next one. This is a passive guardian spirit. We have it at a level two now. After Cassandra suffers lethal damage when she dies, she turns into an angel to heal all allies for 12 seconds. Can only use active skills during this time. None of her passive can be used. Well, this is her passive. Reduces damage taken by 10% to nearby allies. That's what I have it at at level 2. So 
that is going to be some built-in damage reduction as well. And then level three, it lasts for 15 seconds instead of 12 seconds, gives you an extra three seconds. Got to be at level 201 to unlock that. So we're really close to that. Reduces damage taken by 20% to nearby allies at level four. So it goes up from 10% to 20% damage reduction. Pretty dope. I mean, this is this is going to be very effective at keeping people alive. And she's going to be doing, uh, you know, lots of different things here. When she dies, she's going to start healing, uh, you know, the allies. I mean, that is pretty crazy, right? She turns into an angel to heal all allies. All allies. So that is a global heal after she's dead. Pretty crazy. I'm interested to see how this is going to work out. So we're not done yet. Let's take a look now at her weapon. This just makes everything even more intense here. Check it out. All right. So her first level of her weapon increases all heroes or increases ally heroes healing received by 2% whenever they are attacked up to 30%. So that stacks. It just keeps on stacking up. Reduces enemy heroes healing received by 2% whenever they are attacked. So it has that vice versa. It's going to work one way for heroes, the other way for enemies. For allies, it's going to heal. For enemies, it's going to do, do more damage and affect their healing. Stop them from being able to receive healing up to 30%. So that's effective, and that's just at level 100 with their weapon. Okay, so when the weapon reaches level 200, increases target's healing received by 50%. 50% more healing. I mean, that is just crazy, right? Okay, now when she reaches 300 weapon, reduces target's healing received by 50%. So enemies are going to only receive half of the healing. I mean, that is getting very, very crazy. That's going to do a lot of different, make a lot of difference in battles. Okay, so now when we get her weapon to 400, it increases all heroes' attack by 20% when their health is above 50%. So as long as they're over 50%, they're going to be doing 20% more damage. That is like, what are you talking about? That could be the difference in everything right there. So she's in a major support. She's increasing uh, the attack with her weapon. She's increase, increasing the attack of enemies. Oh, we're, we're not done with her. She's increasing the attack. Uh, she's giving some damage reduction. Um, she is all over. She's healing, doing global healing with her ult. And when she dies, she's healing people still. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. So I'm really interested to see how she's going to work out. Before we get into that, though, let's take a look at her equipment. I'm going to suggest that we go ahead and use Yasukani on her because Yasukani is going to give her... 30% chance, even at this level, level one, it's giving her a 30% chance to have the cooldown of this, the same skill next time. So this can, uh, you know, give her 30% chance to, to do the cooldown, 50% cooldown. I mean, that is incredible if we can get that to work. And if with a higher Yasukani, it's going to be really great on her. And then also we're going to use air because that's reducing skill cooldown as well. After using a hero skill, increases damage dealt by next auto attack by 70% as well. So that's going to really make a big difference. So that is awesome. She is a really great hero. Let's take a real quick look at what she offers with her divinities. And we might as well go ahead and give her some of this while we're here. We'll take her up to three. There we go. So we got her at three. Let's go in and take a look real quick and see what she offers. Whenever a skill targets an ally, increases their attack and defense by 10% for 5 seconds. So that's pretty nice. Auto attacks have a 20% chance of generating a shield equal to their damage dealt. That's pretty dope. After releasing an ultimate, deal extra damage to one random enemy equal to 1 times 15% of target's current health. So that's pretty dope. Uh, attributes increase all of these other just increases on magical resistance and things like that all attributes uh, purify 
When healing an ally, there's a 50% chance to remove all debuffs inflicted upon them. That's pretty nice. 50% chance to remove all debuffs. Uh, engulf, devoid engulf. After each of the first two ultimates, hero gains a buff, which increases lifesteal by 12%. So that's going to help keep her alive. Um, Asterial full moon. Whenever this hero dodges an attack, increases attack speed by 20% for three seconds. So you're going to want to get some dodge on her. Um, attribute increase there. Some more attributes. Uh, we have primeval pristine. When health is above 75%, increase defense by 80%. So as long as she's healed up, she's going to be just super tanky out here. That is pretty nice. All right. And let's see what else she has to offer. We got excitement. Restores 150 energy within the first five seconds of battle. So that's going to help her be ready to get her ultimate off. That's going to be really nice. Then we have New Moon. After using an active skill, increase dodge by 50% for two seconds. So we just heard that dodge is something that she's going to need. So this goes in combination with that as well. And then some more attribute boosts and... Uh, Lots of goodies there. All right, so she is really, really going to be strong. I think, guys, this is going to be, she may become the meta healer. I'm not exactly sure. You know, we're going to have to go take her out, and we're going to have to see what the community says about that. But uh, I'm pretty impressed. So let's take her into the arena, and uh, we might as well just go ahead and go out and see what things are looking like. Uh, let's see. The first guy we'll battle, we'll just take on this guy here at the bottom. And what we'll do is we'll take our Eden out. And we'll go ahead and throw Cassandra in there. So let's see what the healing is like. Let's see if she's helping to keep people alive. If she can stay alive herself. This is a pretty strong crew actually right here. Come on to Mama, do your job. Look at that. Boy, that level 220 to mama with her uh, weapon at 300, man. She's smacking people. She's straight up smacking fools, man. Okay, so let's go keep on going. Let's keep it rocking here and uh, let's see how this battle goes. That's some pretty nice healing that I'm seeing there. Wow. Yeah, that went really, really nice. I'm not exactly sure it was the battle was just so quick. I'm not really sure exactly what happened. I mean, uh, we're going to have to see some more battles here. Let's go for these guys. They're a little bit higher in might than I am. And that's a level 200 to Mamo with uh, with 11 enhance. That's a GM level 200 as well with 12. Um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to go, guys. I'm not exactly sure. Let's see. I might actually take a licking in this one. That GM is kind of scary. Once she gets the proc off, boy, ooh. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're going to be able to sustain against that. <laughs> Definitely not. But, hey, it was worth going in and checking it out. I mean, you know, sometimes it, you, you got to get beat sometimes. Okay, let's go ahead and try another. We're starting to run into some pretty thick competition, right? These guys aren't no punks, man. Let's see. Can Cassandra heal people? We want to see some healing. She's dead, but she's she's out there still. And she is doing some healing. I think that may have made the difference. I mean, I really think it did. You guys seen that? She was dead, but she was still out there healing. So that is pretty cool right there. Okay, let's go against this guy. Pretty impressive, though. I mean, it wasn't impressive that she got killed so quick, but keep in mind, I haven't done a lot of work on her. She hasn't been enhanced. Oh, come on. You're going to load on us right now? Yeah, that was drama. We had to go ahead and close all the way out and come back in. Okay, so now let's see. We got one more attack. Well, it will kind of be cherry picking to go after this guy on the bottom, right? I mean, it kind of, kind of cherry picking, but I'm gonna have to do it because I did take a loss on that one. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get out there. So we've seen some really good results there with that last battle. I think she's definitely worth working on. Yeah, that wasn't very much of a battle there, actually. But, um, you know, I think that it's pretty awesome, the healing that she was doing. She's out there making a big difference on the battlefield. And with that last battle, I think that that really was what made the difference of being able to keep alive, uh, kept Tamamo alive, and she was able to get her ult off and take those guys out. So, guys, I mean, in my opinion, I think that she's going to be a really great healer. I'm interested to see how far we can take her and uh just stay tuned for that we'll do more videos and stuff on it if you guys like this video make sure you leave a thumbs up leave a like let me know that you guys want to see more of these type of uh, hero review um you know equipment guide type of videos and i'll get on the ball and get some more of those up for you guys appreciate everybody continuing to support my channel guys just stick around i'll catch you guys for the next video i'm out of here peace